Wait, this is clear? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, let's go! So, ano pa karam doon electric na hatak? Ano pa karam doon electric na hatak? Grabe! Napa, grapa! Napa, ano kayo eh? Lumalabas yung double chin ko eh! So, it seems you're interested in owning an electric car. And if that's the case, you've come to the right video. Together with this new BMW iX, aalamin natin what it's like to live with an electric car here in the Philippines or at least in Metro Manila and its nearby provinces in the south. Pero as we speak, padami ng padami ang electric car chargers ng Pilipinas and we're gonna make a new episode of GFO Electrified that covers long distance electric car driving soon. More electric car chargers are now popping up in Baguio, La Union, and even Subic. But for now, Dito lang muna tayo sa Metro Manila and its nearby southern provinces. So okay, I just woke up guys and I have the BMW iX here. It's charging state so the car has been charging for since I've slept, so I, I arrived to 45% battery charge with the BMW iX. Now, upon waking up, it's now 65% charge yung BMW iX. So, we've added 20% battery to its capacity after charging for 8 hours. So, a few things that you need to know in owning an electric car here in the Philippines. So, when you purchase a BMW iX or any other electric car for that matter, it always comes with a level 2 home charger. So, of course, I don't own this BMW, so wala akong home charger. Instead, I'm using the standard AC charging cable provided with the car. Okay, so tip number one, all Philippine households or yung mga sockets natin only accept up to 10 amperes. So, ayun, with that in mind, it was able to charge this car from 45% to 65% in about 8 hours. So basically, yung tulog ko. Now, we're gonna head to a DC fast charger. Hindi recommended ang DC fast charger all the time since binububu mo yung battery mo all the time if you're using a DC fast charger like yung sa Shell na pupuntahan natin ngayon. What's recommended talaga is the wall box charger that comes with the car or yung mga wall box AC chargers that you can find in SM, in BGC, mga wall chargers nila. So, that will take care of the battery. That will prolong the life of the battery of the electric car. So, that's one tip you need to take care of or put in mind. So, basically, it's just a matter of unplugging this and we're good to go. charge the car to 90% just for ano just to preserve the charge of the battery yung charge cycle kasi if you think it at 100 that counts as one charge cycle so tinaas ko ngayon to 90% yung sa charging niya just to be safe hindi pa rin 100 at least maybe charge it to 90% just to be safe para hindi pa rin siya mag count as one charge cycle and yun nga I've been given an astonishing 391 kilometers of range so we left the house with 63 percent 63 to 90 percent okay I, I, arrived, I arrived there with 62 percent battery so that's 62 percent to 90 percent in 30 minutes kasi once you hit 80 percent in a dc fast charger babagal na siya syempre to preserve the battery life kahit naman sa mga smartphones sa atin diba when it hits 80 percent babagal na rin yung charge rate niya kasi otherwise you're beating up the battery so yeah, now we're headed to Manila and we're gonna pick up the rest of the GFO crew on our way there.
we're, com we're complete. We're finally here. Kompleto ng squad. Let's go. So, anong impressions so guys with the BMW iX? Ang ganda. Ang classy tignan. Guys. Ito yung theater, no? Comfortable. Tapos, syempre, being an electric car, unin mo mapapansin. Wala siyang noise, di ba? Actually, yes. Tapos, carbon fiber chassis. Carbon fiber aluminum, at least. Carbon fiber and aluminum chassis. So, super rigid. So, maganda yung sound insulation. Later, when we go at the highway, so, tang tahibig niya, may mapapansin. Actually, this is gonna be the quietest car na may experience of so far, itong iX. Kasi nga, electric. Tapos, electric. super refined. Maganda yung sound insulation. BM eh. Oo, oh, BM eh. Wait, this is clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, let's go! 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 Let's go!
Pansin, it's a close grill, di ba? Sa dati mm-hmm. grill, kasi siyang lumas. Kasi electric car nga yan, kukunya lang, siya makakina sa harap. Yung grill nga is housing the sensors lang for the autonomous driving stuff. Self-healing daw. Self-healing din yung susi mo. Eh, try, try natin kung <laughs> Kalamares with wasabi ayoli, super good. Adobo, Fried rice ice. bowl, mushroom bowl, adobo, adobo rice bowl, it's chop chop yun. Solid. Kumare. And even then the cheese map went there. <laughs> Luman din sa loob sa Kalamares. <laughs> So currently, we left ngayon Wildflower with 62% charge. So we have 254 kilometers left before this car needs to be charged. But we're gonna head na rin to BMW Green Hills to top up lang para lang sigurado tayo. Para lang fully charged tayo for the rest of the trip. And then we're gonna see whatever BMW is on display. Ano kaya magiging natin dun sa Green Hills mamaya. So yala. It's, good, so it's, a, it's something to, to look forward to in a few minutes. So this is the 11 kilowatt bowl charger, which mm-hmm. will bring down the charge time from more than 24 hours from empty kapag yung wire lang to just 11 hours na lang. Mm-hmm. And now it's charging. We're gonna wait for it until it charges. Tara, let's go to the showroom. I'm going to charge. Off the dealership, naka charge the tayo from 53 to 61%. So we're heading off to SM, our last destination for the day. It's SM Monophasia. Uy, SM may pa ano, sun pa sunset na. Sunset. Hey guys, tawag sa ano? Pa ano, aesthetics. 
Yeah. Happy International Coffee Day. Again, German yun eh. German. Okay, that's why I love German engineers. Dahil dyan, balikan namin kayo when we're at SM All of Asia and mag-charge na kami. Bye guys. Bye. So dahil nandito na tayo sa SM Mall of Asia, I think it's now a good time to talk about the different charging standards and charging methods. As mentioned a while ago, you can charge via two charging methods, via AC or fast charging DC. If you're gonna charge at home, that's an AC power source, which comes in two levels. So level 1 is basically what I did. I charged the car via the 220 volt outlet and up to 10 amperes. And this ampere part is actually very critical because at least in the case of the BMW iX, that's something you have to set manually. Philippine households have a rate of 10 amperes and if you set way beyond that in the BMW iX, you could actually destroy your house's electric grid. So just take note of this part if you're planning to buy a BMW iX or any electric BMW for that matter. Ibang story na ngayon if you have a level 2 AC home charger. And usually, that's included the moment you buy an electric car. Now, with the level 2 AC home charger, power is now fed directly from a 40 amp circuit breaker, which in the case of the BMW iX, this brings down the charging time to just 11 hours as opposed to more than 24 hours when charging just via the 220 volt level 1 AC outlet. Ngayon, let's talk about the fastest way to charge a vehicle, and that's through DC charging. Because batteries are basically DC power, wala ka ng conversion from AC to DC that slows the charging process. And thus, while AC is considered either level 1 or level 2, ang DC is considered as level 3 or level 4. DC chargers are also in constant communication with the car's systems. Kaya dahil dyan, you don't need to set up anything inside the vehicle's infotainment system. Now, with a DC fast charger, in the case of the BMW iX and its 150kW electric vehicle architecture, you can charge from 10 to 80% in just 30 minutes. And kung mapapansin nyo, lagi namin binabanggit na hanggang 80% lang. And that's because, once the batteries are above 80%, the charging rate drastically slows down. Because just like your smartphone, kailangan natin i-preserve yung kanyang battery life. And as a matter of fact, hindi recommended gumamit ng DC fast charger on a regular basis. Because again, just like your smartphone's battery, using a DC fast charger on a regular basis can degrade your car's battery by as much as 27% in a span of 4 years. Plus, it's also worth mentioning that charging via DC is also quite expensive. AC charging on the other hand, not only costs less than DC charging, but in most cases pa nga, is being offered for free at least for now in certain SM, Ayala, and Robinson Smalls around Luzon. Pag-uusapan natin ng vehicle charging costs a little bit later because we still have to address another point of confusion for potential electric vehicle owners in the Philippines. Just like your smartphone, there are also various charging port standards that we have to talk about first. And unfortunately, you have to deal with at least 5 different charging port standards. 
you have CCS1 in type 1, which is used in North America, CCS2 in type 2, which is now fast becoming the global standard, and then you also have Japan's CHAdeMO in type 1, China's GBT, and of course, Tesla's own charging standard. CCS2 and Type 2 is the most prominent in the Philippines, especially due to the European brands dominating the EV market. Unfortunately, you also have to remember that none of these charging ports are intercompatible with each other, and so for maximum flexibility, it's best to purchase an adapter. And so with these things out of the way, let's now go back to our electric vehicle journey. So like, how would, how, would, how would we rate this sa mga kilina natin coffee shop ngayong araw? So far, we are staying. Talaga? One of the best third rate coffee ever. Guys, yeah, siya talaga yung GFO connoisseur talaga. Coffee connoisseur talaga ito ng GFO, si Tommy. So parang, you want the coffee to stay in your mouth longer, di ba? Mm. Well, this is my third, but this is your fourth, yung dalawa. Mm. Grabe. This is the electric vehicle lifestyle with the BMW iX. <laughs> Short disclaimer by the way, kaya para naging mabagal ang charge ng BMW iX SM Mall of Asia ay dahil dun sa kanyang ampere rating that needs to be set manually. Apparently nakaset pala siya at 8 amperes, hence the slow charging for the BMW iX. Though as we mentioned kanina, you don't have to adjust anything if you're charging via DC. So in terms of costs, charging an electric car is currently more affordable than refueling a car with today's high gas prices. And here's a quick tip, I charge the BMW iX at Shell Recharge to 90% just for experimentation purposes. Pero due to the per minute cost of Shell Recharge, it's best in terms of cost to charge an EV at a DC fast charger at up to 80% only. Otherwise, yung charging natin kanina at Shell Recharge would be just good for 15 minutes if it were to be charged at just 80%. As we speak, electric vehicles will also soon be much more affordable. Because the National Economic Development Authority is set to revise the tariff rates for electric vehicles, even to the point of eliminating them altogether on EVs from certain countries. And you can read the full news article, of course, on goflatoutph.com. So, to sum it all up, and this is for me as a Filipino na, syempre, konti na in charge sa Pilipinas and I live pa in the province, Laguna, no? Um, I did not suffer, thankfully, from range anxiety. Um, Thankful ako na there's the shell recharge nga na station sa Mamplasan. Okay, it's quite expensive per minute kasi ang charger hindi siya per kilowatt hour which is the ideal one sa totoo lang. So, yeah, that brings me peace of mind kasi ang bilis ang mag-charge from 10 to 80. And then, another good thing din doon is the fact nga na ngayon, ang dami ng SM malls sa Manila na may charging station. And then, 
Of course, if you own a car from a certain brand, for sure, they have a charging station then sa dealer sila, like in the case of BMW, the iX, they have a charging station sa BMW Green Hills. Now, uh, if you live in Manila, I don't think you're, gonna, you're not gonna have any issues lang ngayon with charging kasi the manufacturers have charging stations sa kanilang uh, dealerships and sa mga SM malls nga. Soon, I think Ayala will also do the same thing. So, mas magiging kampante na kayo with going through malls kapag naka-electric car kayo. For me, since I plan my routes really well and I really took into account where there are charging stations. Doon lang din ako naman, masyad. Doon lang din ako gumagala with my friends or doing my work and stuff. So, yeah, living with the BMW iX for a week was a life-changing experience for me. I think it's a revolutionary experience with owning an electric car sa Pilipinas. So, we're transitioning naman talaga to that period in time, eh, no, na talagang soon cars will be electric, syempre, zero emissions and all. But, yeah, it's a life-changing experience. I've enjoyed my time with the iX and that's what you're here to find out if living with the electric car in the Philippines is difficult or not. In my case, if you plan your routes really well, it's actually not. It can be difficult if you're traveling up north kasi wala masyadong charging stations or wala nang charging stations at all sa north apart from SM City Baguio and sa La Union. But in between those destinations, there's none. So plan your routes carefully. And yeah, that's the case with the BMW iX and with this electric car experience. Hope you enjoyed our video and don't forget to subscribe, like our page and of course we're gonna be here to always feature the latest and greatest in terms of automotive technology here in the Philippines. This has also been quite a learning experience for us here at Go Flat Out PH. And habang dumadami pa lalo ang mga naka-EV, expect more questions to pop up as we head to that direction. Just leave any questions or comments down the comment section below and we'll try to address them as accurately as possible. What's up, Kuya ID? For sure, makikita mo itong mamaya pa. Pinag-tripa rin na. Pinag-tripa na namin yung cell phone. What's up, guys? Welcome to my guys, to my vlog. Hahaha.